There are a lot of apples, but only a Newton. He needed only one apple that fell in front of him. A question that might be set at the beginning of this conversation. What was electricity for you, dear Mr. Tesla? Everything is electricity. First was the light, an endless source from which comes the material and is distributed to all forms that represent the universe and the earth with all its aspects of life. The black is the true face of light, only we do not see it. Google's quantum AI just flagged a hidden pattern in Nikola Tesla's writings, and what it suggests is terrifying. It appears Tesla may have been trying to stop something, not build something. And Google's quantum AI might finally be smart enough to understand what. For decades, historians have puzzled over Tesla's obsession with certain frequencies and his cryptic references to Earth's resonance. But what if his famous wireless power system wasn't just about free electricity? What if Tesla's most ambitious project was designed as a planetary defense system? The clues were scattered across his notebooks all along, hiding in plain sight. Today we're diving into how Google's quantum computing breakthrough might be revealing a side of Tesla's work that traditional analysis missed completely. The same man who brought us AC power might have been working on something far more important, something that could change our understanding of both history and our future. This isn't just another Tesla conspiracy theory. The difference? For the first time, we have computing power that can process the kind of multi-dimensional patterns Tesla was working with. And what these patterns suggest has quantum physicists taking a second look at the inventor's final projects. What makes this story so compelling is how Google's quantum AI is reinterpreting Tesla's work in ways conventional analysis never could. The AI has analyzed fragments of Tesla's diaries, letters, and scattered sketches, documents that have been sitting in archives for decades with critical pages missing. The quantum system flagged recurring patterns in Tesla's notes that previous researchers dismissed as eccentric ramblings. Terms like vibrational signature, geoenergy wave, and mysterious references to something called Code 327 appeared throughout his later writings. Here's where it gets interesting. These seemingly random phrases, meaningless to 20th century scientists, suddenly align perfectly with modern quantum physics vocabulary. What Tesla called vibrational signatures bears striking similarity to what today's physicists describe as quantum field resonance. His geoenergy wave concepts mirror modern discussions of topological stability in quantum systems. And the enigmatic Code 327 notations share mathematical properties with what we now call signal anomaly behavior. The AI isn't just finding word matches. It's identifying conceptual frameworks Tesla was developing without the language to properly express them. This suggests something profound. Tesla wasn't just trying to transmit energy wirelessly as everyone assumed. The evidence points to him mapping Earth's natural frequency grid, not to broadcast power, but to stabilize something. If you're finding this as fascinating as we do, hit that subscribe button to join us for more revelations where science meets history. And what the AI found next in Tesla's notes takes this to another level and ties directly to a real-life disaster in 1908. The Tunguska Incident Link. Now, here's where this story enters truly uncharted territory. The quantum AI has done something remarkable. It's created a simulation correlating Tesla's documented Colorado Springs transmission experiments with the timing of the Tunguska explosion. For those who don't know, Tunguska is one of the most mysterious events in modern history. On June 30th, 1908, something flattened over 800 square miles of remote Siberian forest with the force of a thousand Hiroshima bombs. Trees were knocked flat in a radial pattern Yet there was no impact crater. Scientists still debate what caused it. Here's the chilling part. Tesla had publicly claimed in a newspaper interview just days before the blast that he could beam energy across the globe. He specifically mentioned his ability to direct electrical energy to any spot on Earth. And then suddenly, boom, an unexplained energy event occurs on the other side of the world. 
Could Tesla have caused it accidentally during a power transmission test? Or was it deliberate? A controlled demonstration? Or, perhaps most intriguing of all, was he trying to stop something else that was coming through? What makes this connection credible is how modern quantum systems like Google's Willow chip can now simulate these kinds of long-range energy patterns using qubit networks. The physics of how energy could theoretically be transmitted or redirected across the planet's electromagnetic field is finally being understood at a quantum level. Do you think this was coincidence? Or cover-up? Let us know in the comments before we reveal what Tesla's AI decoded diagrams actually suggested. Because the next piece of this puzzle changes everything we thought we knew about Tesla's ultimate goal. The Code 327 Fragment and Harmonic Shield Theory The deepest insights come from what Tesla labeled Code 327, a designation that appears repeatedly next to his rough sketches of the Wardenclyffe Tower schematics. These weren't just any drawings. They were the final revisions, created after he returned from Colorado Springs with his mysterious new data. What caught the AI's attention was Tesla's obsessive use of the numbers 3, 6, and 9 throughout these documents. Remember Tesla's famous quote, if you only knew the magnificence of the three, six, and nine, then you would have a key to the universe. The quantum AI identified these numerical patterns not as simple mathematics, but as a possible non-binary encoding pattern, essentially a form of programming language before computers existed. When the AI cross-referenced these blueprints with modern quantum field equations, it reached a stunning conclusion. Wardenclyffe Tower might not have functioned primarily as a transmitter at all. The structural design, with its underground shaft extending 120 feet into the earth and its massive copper dome, appears consistent with what we would now design as a planetary-scale containment or deflection grid. This completely inverts our understanding of Tesla's most ambitious project. He wasn't trying to send energy outward, as everyone assumed. The AI analysis suggests he was attempting to counter something entering Earth's atmosphere, possibly linked to cosmic anomalies or geomagnetic instability that he had detected during his Colorado experiments. Think about it. Why would a man obsessed with efficiency build such an enormous structure just to send wireless telegrams or power? The scale makes sense only if he was addressing a threat of corresponding magnitude. But it gets weirder. The AI cross-checked Tesla's notes from 1899 and matched them with a discovery not made until 2007. Tesla's Mars signals versus modern FRBs. In 1899, while conducting experiments in Colorado Springs, Tesla made one of his most controversial claims. He reported detecting rhythmic signals that followed a distinct pattern. One, two, Three, four. Tesla was convinced these signals came from Mars, even telling reporters he had received communication from another world. Scienti Scientists dismissed this as the inventor's eccentricity or interference from natural phenomena. But Google's quantum AI has done something remarkable. It FRBs are millisecond-long radio pulses from deep space that have baffled astronomers since their discovery. They're incredibly powerful, releasing as much energy in a millisecond as the sun does in days. Their origin remains one of astronomy's biggest mysteries, with theories ranging from neutron star collisions to advanced alien civilizations. Here's the mind-blowing part. When the AI analyzed the timing patterns Tesla documented in his Colorado Springs notes, it found that one specific FRB pattern designated FRB 180916.J0158-65, matches Tesla's log entries almost perfectly in terms of timing intervals and modulation characteristics. This raises an extraordinary possibility. Could Tesla have detected the first FRB a century before modern radio astronomy and misinterpreted it as intelligent contact? More importantly, what if his Wardenclyffe Tower wasn't just about wireless power, but a response to these signals that he believed represented some kind of threat or opportunity? 
Remember, Tesla abandoned his commercial wireless power ambitions rather abruptly after Colorado Springs, shifting to a much more ambitious and secretive design. What if these signals were the reason? What if he understood something about them that we're only beginning to grasp with quantum computing? The Great Filter Theory. Was Tesla warning us? The quantum AI has introduced perhaps the most thought-provoking theory of all. Tesla may have sensed early indicators of what today's physicists and philosophers call the Great Filter, a concept that explains why, despite billions of potentially habitable planets, we haven't detected advanced civilizations throughout our galaxy. The Great Filter hypothesis suggests there's a critical threshold in technological development, a point of no return where a civilization either transcends to a higher state of existence or collapses under the weight of its own technological power. It's a compelling answer to Fermi's paradox. Where is everybody? What's fascinating is how Tesla's later work aligns perfectly with what we might expect from someone who glimpsed this filter. He abandoned profitable inventions to push obsessively for free global energy decentralized power systems, and non-violent deterrent technologies. The AI analysis suggests these weren't just the whims of an aging inventor. They were calculated efforts to delay a collapse he believed was coming. This famous quote takes on new meaning in this context. I would rather be remembered as the inventor who succeeded in abolishing war. Not as an idealistic dream, but as a pragmatic necessity for human survival. Perhaps Tesla wasn't building for the future as much as he was buying us time. His wireless power system would have eliminated resource wars and energy inequality. His peace beam wasn't a weapon, but a defense system designed to make conventional warfare obsolete. And his intense interest in Earth's electromagnetic field may have been about detecting or preventing disruptions he believed could trigger catastrophic chain reactions in our technological systems. But if that's true, why did the government seize his work? And where did the rest of Tesla's files go? Tesla's missing papers, FBI, and Project Nick. To understand the full significance of the AI's findings, we need to examine what happened to Tesla's work after his death. A story of government seizure, missing documents, and classified projects. When Tesla died in January 1943, the FBI immediately moved in. Within hours of his passing, all his papers were confiscated by the U.S. Office of Alien Property. Remember, this was the height of World War II, and authorities were concerned that Tesla's advanced weapons concepts might fall into Axis hands. MIT physicist John G. Trump uncle of former President Donald Trump, was brought in to evaluate the technical value of Tesla's papers. His official conclusion? Tesla's work was merely speculative, philosophical, and promotional, with no practical applications. This assessment effectively buried Tesla's final research for decades. But, he but here's where the story gets murky. Historical records show that approximately 80 trunks of Tesla's documents were initially inventoried. Yet, when Tesla's nephew finally received permission to ship them to Yugoslavia, only about 60 trunks arrived. What happened to those missing 20 trunks? They simply vanished. Even more intriguing, declassified files reveal that in 1945, the U.S. Air Force quietly initiated a classified program called Project Nick specifically to test Tesla's particle beam weapon concept. The military clearly saw something of value in those philosophical papers. After several months of testing, the project was suddenly terminated, and the files associated with it mysteriously disappeared from government records. These aren't conspiracy theories. These are documented historical facts. The PBS Timeline and Science History Institute records confirm the missing trunks and the classified Project Nick. The question is, what did they find in those papers that warranted such secrecy? Google's Real Quantum AI Today Let's take a step back from speculation and look at what we know for certain about Google's quantum computing capabilities today. 
the technology that could theoretically perform the kind of analysis we've been discussing. Google's quantum processors represent the cutting edge of computing power. Their Sycamore processor, unveiled in 2019, performed a specialized calculation in just 200 seconds that would take the world's fastest classical supercomputer approximately 10,000 years to complete. More recently, their Willow chip with over 100 qubits demonstrated fault-tolerant error correction and can solve certain problems in minutes that would take traditional computers billions of years. What makes these systems revolutionary is their ability to simulate complex quantum systems that are impossible to model using conventional computing methods. Their documented applications focus on materials science, optimization algorithms, and quantum chemistry areas where quantum computers have a natural advantage. To be absolutely clear, there is no public research paper or official statement confirming that Google has ever used these quantum systems to analyze Tesla's notebooks or historical archives of any kind. The published research from Google's Quantum Lab focuses exclusively on hardware advancement, error correction, and fundamental quantum algorithms there is no hard evidence Google has done this kind of historical pattern analysis. But if they did, the implications would be extraordinary. A quantum system could identify correlations and patterns across Tesla's scattered works that human researchers might miss. Connecting dots between his frequency observations, energy transmission theories, and cryptic warnings that have remained separate for decades. What makes this scenario plausible isn't wild conspiracy thinking but the genuine capabilities of quantum computing to solve problems of pattern recognition and data correlation that lie beyond classical computing limits. Throughout history, we've celebrated Tesla as a visionary who dreamed of a world transformed by technology. His vision of peace, global energy and planetary harmony is well documented in his own writings and speeches. But perhaps we've misunderstood his ultimate mission all along. The patterns emerging from this quantum reanalysis suggest something more profound was driving Tesla's most ambitious projects. His obsession with Earth's resonant frequencies, his sudden shift away from commercial inventions, his cryptic warnings about powerful forces, all point to a man who saw beyond the technological horizon of his time. Maybe Tesla wasn't just building the future as we've always thought. Maybe he was trying to protect it. His wireless power system might have been designed not just to provide free electricity, but to create a planetary defense grid against forces he could detect but couldn't fully explain with the scientific language of his era. Whether you see Tesla as a misunderstood genius or a prophet who glimpsed something beyond our comprehension, one thing is certain. Modern quantum computing is finally giving us tools to reassess his work in ways that weren't possible before. The real question isn't whether Tesla was trying to stop something, it's whether we'll recognize what he saw before it's too late. If you want to keep uncovering the secrets that science is just now catching up to, hit subscribe and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss what's next as we continue exploring where cutting-edge technology meets history's greatest mysteries.